Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Fullcraft 3. Um, I spent, well, there's a guy coming at me, um, a lot of yesterday and pretty much all of today uh, cutting the top of this hill off over here. It was about 10 layers high from the other side of that torch there, like where that little section is, and about that tall is that thing over there this big chunk over here. I decided to clear it out because uh, I was going to build a mob spawner over here and then uh, I just built a big square room with a bunch of fans in it and uh, it was kinda working, kinda not working. It took me a little bit to decide how I wanted to actually kill the mobs once they spawned in there um, and for that I'm using cactus carpets. Um, I've got them somewhere. Here they are. Cactus carpet, you just two cactuses, gives you three of them. Uh, they hurt mobs that walk on it. It is barely any thickness, just like carpet is. It only destroys items after they're two minutes old. Um, if you put it on top of a hopper, it works on top of hoppers, so hoppers will pull items through it, so they won't even last the two minutes as long as there's space for them to go into. Um, it doesn't kill things super quick, but it's quick enough. And... Um, yeah, they're easy to make and replicate here. You just grow some cactus and you're done, basically. Um, I'm not sure if they hurt the player because it says mobs, but it probably does. So let's test that out real quick. Does not hurt the player. Good to know. So it's safe for uh, actual decoration also. Cool. Um, yeah, so, here's the, let me show you the inside here, I'm trying to get, okay, before the sun comes up, here's the inside. <laughs> it's just, uh, layers of dirt, this was all stone before, um, uh, layers of dirt, I've got a, uh, what is that, 5 by 3 of these cactus carpets in the bottom here, so anything that gets pushed off by the fans from these rows go into the middle, um, anything in the middle gets pushed from the um, north and south, no, east and west ends towards the middle here, and they die inside this little cactus pit. And then there is an absorption hopper underneath this one. You can kind of see it through there. And underneath that is a chest that has an item conduit running that direction. Uh, this space is empty for a reason. Let's get this in here before the sun comes up. Cursed Earth. You guys have probably seen this before. If not, um, it's really good. <laughs> yeah, just double checking. So the Cursed Earth, um, it says aggressively spawns mobs as long as it's in darkness. And that room there is going to be completely dark. I wanted to get that in there before the sun came up and let light in this doorway here. Is it going to spawn? Also, it spreads to nearby dirt blocks. <clears throat> it should be spreading in there. But nothing has spawned yet. Huh. We may have to wait a little bit for it to spawn. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and turn all these on. I'm eventually going to have this all wired up with some uh, redstone conduit. So I just have to flip one lever and turn the whole thing on at once. Let me go all the way around the back side here. <clears throat> I kind of want to open this thing up and see if it's spreading, but I didn't want something to spawn and attack me immediately. Alright, that should be all the fans on. Anyway, the drops are going to end up down here. Um, these are just the stone that I had mined out of there. And these are, I guess, an unlucky couple of zombies and skeletons. Maybe a spider, even, that dropped off in here. But other than that, I don't see anything spawning in there. Oh, there's something. 
He's getting pushed to the middle. Sounds like it's a spider. I all turn to the side like the audio is going to, you know, like put your ear to the wall. What is it? <laughs> Dead spider. All right. <clears throat> well, stuff is spawning in there. Not as aggressively as I thought it would immediately, but I guess the cursed earth has had a change. It might not spread as fast or something. I'm not sure. That one I put in there might have started uh, burning. It was like the sun was starting to come up. I'll have to check it in a minute when the sun goes down again. Um, Does anybody know if there's a way? Is there a bed that uh, operates like a bed, but the opposite to where you can sleep the day off and uh, just make it nighttime? That's a whole lot of bed going on over there. Yeah, but I could use a thing that was like, get rid of the daytime and go straight to night. That would be cool. Oh, he thinks he's going to make it over here. Yeah, nope. Maybe he's going to make it. Is your friend here going to make it all the way? Nope, he didn't make it either. Alright, let's, uh... Oh, I didn't bring any food out either. Alright, well that's dangerous. Let's not go over there. Skeleton died over here. Yeah, but uh, um, I decided to go ahead and build a mob farm because uh, the setup down there to try to lure in and kill Endermen very, very, very slowly was not working at all. Like, several in-game days at a time and there'd be no Endermen whatsoever, and then some nights it rains, so you can't even really get a hold of them. They just teleport all over the place. So I figured, hey, let's make this thing, make it tall enough for Endermen to spawn, um, go to the nether, get some cursed earth. I guess we got a creeper in there. I hear something that sounds like a really old dial-up modem. That may be the cursed earth making noise up there. I'm not sure. I also hear running water, which is right here. I need to block this up again. I was digging out some gravel uh, that was underneath this thing, and it uh, took the edge off of this little underground lake here. So actually, I can do that right now. And then I have to head back inside and uh, get some food. I am running low on the food. Yeah, that's what I meant to do. This glove, I swear, has caused me more trouble than uh, anything else. A little bit of a lag there. Yeah, it looks like we're getting some stuff spawning down there. But yeah, this glove, though... If you're slightly too far away from to uh, place a block, or um, you're eating food and your food bar goes full, and you still have the right click held down, it just starts throwing fire. <laughs> I've uh, tried to open my um, work table, this thing here. I was kind of looking down, and I click, I right clicked, and it lit me on fire. <laughs> um, just about killed myself. You know, stuff like that. It's just kind of a hassle. Alright. Now there's some activity in here. The cursed earth, I guess, is starting to spread decently. I should have made the room a little bit smaller, because those fans, they push um, effectively eight blocks, but really only seven with any kind of force. So um, I made it uh, like a one square too far in each direction, left to right, and then front to back. Well, the front to back is like six before they hit the cactus, but um, if they path around in there at all, um, they're going to fall off. So, And especially once the Cursed Earth starts spreading into the entire room, uh, yeah, they're going to be pushing each other off in there eventually. But yeah, I really could use some uh, Endermen in there. And I need the Ender Pearls. I've got Blaze Rods for Blaze Powder. I need some Ender Pearls. We're going to make some um, 
Eye of Enders, and then head over to find a fortress, and then um, get to the end and kill the dragon. Once we're in the end, we shouldn't have to worry about pearls at all. There's going to be Endermen everywhere. Any kind of grinder in there is going to kill them. Alright, what do I want to eat? My values are kind of wonky. I've uh, been ne neglecting the dairy a little bit. What's low? Grain and vegetable? Alright. Uh, oh, you guys have probably found out by now, but the... Um, Morph Mod does work, but the abilities do not exist in Minecraft 1.12 yet. Uh, let's see, vegetable, yeah, we'll just do some baked potatoes. And... Yeah, what can I make in here? Grain, protein, vegetable, that looks good. Give me that. There it goes again. All right, taking that off. Cool. 41. Grain's at 35. Grain was my highest one before I started, like, focusing one at a time, because uh, all I had was basically wheat and bread. So let's... Uh, is that in here? No. They went up here, didn't they? Yeah. Let's uh, do a little bit of grain while we're out. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to make another focus for the caster's gauntlet. Uh, where's my book? Did I put it in here? Hmm. I'm missing some things. I believe I am missing my Thumbcraft book. I was going to show you guys kind of where I'm at on research. But I don't know where I put it. Oh, I just got the uh, Glass Loyalty Medal a second time. So, yeah, that's another 20 hours of playtime. Where did I leave my Thaumonomicon at? Huh. Oh, I know where it is. I remember, before I went to the nether to uh, go get that drop of evil to make the cursed earth with, I dumped off a bunch of stuff next to my nether portal in a chest for safekeeping and forgot to pick it back up. Whoops. I really should make a path from the ladder that comes out like right here. Oh, and I haven't moved these yet because the Silk Touch I put on um, the Kappa Pick, this thing only has a harvest level of 1, so I kind of goofed a little bit. <laughs> uh, i got to put this on like a uh, Wub Axe, so I have a Silk Touch Axe that can uh, mine anything. The level 1 harvest doesn't get redstone. So yeah, I've got a Wub Pick right there. Yeah, there is all the stuff I'm missing. Uh, I was about to make an Octatic Capacitor, another reason I need Inner Pearls. Another reason I need Ender Pearls. Sorry, kind of uh, slurring it together a little bit there. Um, I have the two double layer capacitors and the energetic alloy and the block of glowstone, but you need Ender Pearls to make this into vibrant alloy. And I don't have that. So let's get rid of this random stuff, get the more useful stuff. that, the food that I left in here. I had two stacks of fruit, gooseberries, and I think I had cherries. I went through those pretty quick, though. They don't last long running around in the nether fighting blazes and stuff. Speaking of which, oh, now my armor's okay. Like a quarter broken. I might have to make another set of the uh, Thaumaturge robes at some point. If I don't get the item repairing device before then, either from Project E or uh, actually Additions has one also. I don't remember. That one runs off of RF, 
and just repairs items with power, I think. And then the item repair talisman from Project E just magic works. I don't know. You, it's a little tag goes in your inventory and just repairs all your stuff. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and just put away all that junk real quick. Show you guys what's going on here. So alloy smelter has octatic capacitor, sag mill octatic capacitor, uh, sterling generator no capacitor, which is where the uh, the last octatic is going to go. So Sagmill will take this. This chest, that goes in there. Um, I'm going to hang on to these. Hopefully I get inner pearls. That, that, and this. Stay. Eh, whatever. Let's go check. That's where all the action is. You guys don't want to see me sort around chests and things. And while I'm here, might as well get this. So after you guys scan the moon, make sure you drop the paper and then scan it. Because uh, you get more research out of it, the paper itself. I think that's the first one of those I've gotten. Or else it wouldn't have been new. Yeah, that's the first one of those. I thought I was missing one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've got eight phases of the moon, each of the four quad quadrants, and the sun. Is that all of them? There's full, new, and then it should be like each, each gibbous, quarters, Waning, crescent, waxing crescent. Yeah, that's all the moon phases, correct? Like in that uh, in that order, <laughs> more or less. Let's see. Does the book say anything? Um, no. Maybe I'm missing something. The notes I gather should come in handy for theory crafting. Yeah, I guess they're just used for research. Flux rifts, flux, yeah. I've been dealing with some of that lately. Not here, though, on a server. I mentioned playing on a server uh, a couple days ago. Uh, my friend that I'm playing on the server with decided to go crazy with Thomcraft and let out a lot of flux, and it created a big giant rift and a bunch of uh, void rift flux seed things I had to go and kill. Yeah, it was not fun. Before it uh, destroyed our entire base area. Hey, there's an enderman. Hey, you. You should be in the grinder. What are you doing out here? He's not damaged, so he hasn't been in the grinder. Hiya. One sneaking up behind me. All right, loud much. Calm down. I'll put my glove back on for this wither cat up here. I don't know if you guys even saw it. He's right there. Did I get you yet? I have scanned the wither cat before. Be on fire. Oh, those hurt. I died. <laughs> Eh, oh well. Uh, I guess the Wither Witch spawned inside there, and the cat spawned outside the wall? Maybe? Let's follow the little wispy thing. That's actually my first death, I think. Come to think of it, I think that's my first death. Oh yeah, the morphs uh, I mentioned. Uh, morph mod works. You get the morphs when you kill stuff. But the... Oh, that thing. Don't shoot me. Basals. Uh, the morphs are still handy. For doing things like conduit running and stuff like that. Let you fit into a smaller area like the bat morph I just used to do that. 
Let's hide from that thing. Alright, yeah, there was a wither witch in there. And the cat made it outside. Alright, well, grinder up and running. One death in the book, as far as I know. Pretty sure that's my first one. Alright, yep, that'll do it. Um, so, if you guys want to know about the grinder anymore, leave me some questions. Leave me some comments. It's not as efficient as it could be, I know, but it's going to work. It's doing what it's supposed to do. Hopefully Endermen will spawn in there, or something that drops Ender Pearls will spawn in there. And uh, I'll be able to not just stand around and have to hunt Endermen all day. Anyway, um, thanks for coming by, thanks for watching, and until next episode, I will see you then. Have a good day.